The plan to vaccinate children between the ages of 5 and 11 against COVID-19 is underway. Thanks for joining us for the nightly check-in. I'm Katherine Garcia. Vaccine maker Pfizer is working to have its latest data ready to be reviewed by the FDA within weeks. And once the FDA does review it, then the Pfizer vaccine for kids 5 to 11 could possibly be ready by Halloween. One San Diego family doctor says no matter how quickly some want that approval to happen, though, there's a rigorous process that will not be rushed. Some families told NBC7 they are ready to have their children vaccinated as soon as possible. I would love to be protected and my kids too. That's the main thing. Uh, but other than that, whatever, if, 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 they, if it doesn't have any side effects, of course, for sure, yeah. We already did ourselves another five, my, me, my wife, my other three kids, and I'm looking forward to do this. And when it comes to even younger children, Pfizer's CEO expects to release clinical trial data for kids six months old to five years old as early as the end of October. Governor Gavin Newsom has successfully beat the recall effort against him. There are still thousands of mail-in ballots to be counted across the state, but the last update released by the state shows 63.9% against the recall and a little more than 36% in favor. As long as ballots are postmarked on or before Election Day and received within ten, seven days, rather, they will be included in the final tally. So there's still a ways to go before those results will be certified. The latest local numbers show a majority of San Diego voters are in favor favor of keeping Governor Newsom in office. As we said, 41% are in favor of recalling him. Critics are calling the recall election, though, a waste of money. It wasn't a waste of money. It was democracy. I mean, this is why recall is in the state constitution, exactly for this type of reason. When so many people get upset, they need to vent and not wait till the next election. The recall appears to have been a referendum on how Governor Newsom has handled the pandemic. Exit polling shows the majority of people voted not only to keep the governor in place, but also said they approved of the safety COVID protocols he put in place, including requiring masks in schools. Lisa Wood is with San Diegans for Safe Schools. We have felt terrorized in our school board meetings and our county supervisor meetings by this fringe group of grifters. People have sp spoken in very large numbers, were tired, and so this is now the vocal majority uh, uh, who have been uh, a little bit more on the silent side, standing up and saying enough is enough. Some groups do continue to push for a change to COVID regulations, even though the governor will stay in office. The local organization Let Them Breathe is still protesting masks in schools and has filed a lawsuit against the state to stop that requirement if possible. Another legal conflict getting a lot of attention, San Diego's new ordinance against ghost guns. It takes effect October 14th and will prohibit the sale and purchase of unserialized firearm parts, whether finished or unfinished. Ghost guns look and fire just like those sold by licensed firearms companies. What they don't usually have is a serial number on the receiver or frame that holds the internal parts together. A serial number, of course, can help law enforcement trace weapons back to their owners. Gun shop owners and gun rights advocates say the new law could have implications that city leaders don't recognize. I think it's a law that is going to criminalize people overnight who probably are unaware that the law even passed. A San Diego police spokesperson tells NBC7 the new measure gives law enforcement the teeth to act proactively and prevent firearms from falling into the hands of criminals. Before we sign off, a look at your current temperatures. There's an extended forecast on the weather section on the main menu of our Roku and Apple TV app. That'll do it for the nightly check-in. Have a good night.